So now in this video we're just going to quickly talk about what makes a good electrical conductor. And so I put this diagram together a while ago but it has the atomic structure of copper. So the number of protons in the nucleus determines what an element is. So copper has 29 protons. Each one of those protons attracts an electron. And so the first two electrons form the first shell and uh, it can only hold two electrons and then each shell can hold a certain number of electrons once it becomes full then the atom needs to have another shell and so with copper the uh, outer shell the valence shell has just one electron so this one electron is not held very strongly by the nucleus of the copper atom and so it can move around easily that's what makes it a good conductor so normally it's surrounded by a bunch of other copper atoms and if you put a voltage difference across them it can move the electrons. So the direction that the electrons move from atom to atom to atom is called the electron flow and uh, that's the opposite direction of conventional current because electrons are negatively charged we consider the electron flow a negative current and so the opposite of negative is positive so conventional current is just looking at it as positive going to negative whereas electron flow is negative going to positive but in uh, any case this is ultimately what makes a good conductor copper is a good conductor so is gold and silver they're better conductors than copper but of course they're a lot more expensive now of course conductors normally have insulator around them first off they're electrical insulators they have atoms they're made of uh, stuff that does not conduct uh, current very well and also metal corrodes really easily so the insulation this is plastic it doesn't corrode and uh, so that helps protect the wire too from physical construction from corrosion but ultimately it's uh, an electrical insulator. If you put another wire across here and you don't want them to have a conductive path, the plastic keeps them from conducting.